Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm not sure if you've seen, or I'm not even sure if I upload my review of the Batman movie that you know came out uh, a while back. But uh, just recently, um, yesterday, they released a deleted scene from the movie that actually shows this universe's version of the Joker and Batman in a very Silence of the Lambs-esque, you know, um, type of scene. I'm gonna say this. I watched the scene and I really love the actor that's playing this version of the Joker. I, I'm not sure. It's interesting, but... I don't know how this fits in, and I'm glad they cut it. I'm glad that the scene was cut. Although, what I would like to see, because they are working, from what I understand, on a um, possible HBO Max series, and, you know, that will continue Matt Reeves' universe of Batman, um, that would focus on other characters in this universe. That being said... I'm on this weird thing where it's like, we've seen so many iterations of the Joker in movies and all that. We've seen so many different takes on it. I just hope if they do a sequel to this, the Joker's not going to be the main big bad. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the Joker. Joker's probably one of the most interesting characters in Batman's rogues. But that's the thing. He's just one of Batman's rogue, you know, rogues gallery. Batman has so many amazing villains so many characters that they can play off of that they some that they could even take and revamp that they could reinvent like what they did with long halloween with calendar man they made calendar man scary this was the movie that made riddler terrifying so let's take another maybe d-list or you know even lower on the tone pole of batman's rogues and reinvent them um i think birthday boy would be an interesting character to do or you know what, just because we're already going the seven route and want to go even darker, get Dollmaker in there. Have Dollmaker be the next big bad or even Professor Pig. Like I said, there's so many other characters that they can do. Let's not do the Joker again. Now, I'm okay with the Joker being in the background, being in, like I said, the maybe this possible HBO Max series that's happening. That would be cool. Um, that being said, the actor that they got to play the Joker in this universe... He's good. I mean, I, I like what they're doing with that character, and I kind of like the relationship that they're establishing with these two. Uh, that being said, I, I already made my thoughts clear that I think if they are going to do a sequel for a movie, I don't want Joker to be the next big bad. I really don't. I, I want them to focus on a, a character that maybe we might not have seen yet, or maybe a character that hadn't gotten his own solo movie yet. Or, you know, his own, you know, stand out as the main big bad. Like, let's do Two-Face. Two-Face was great in, you know, The Dark Knight, but he never really stood solo. I want to see a solo movie with Two-Face, or a solo movie with Scarecrow. You can say Batman Begins, but no, it was overshadowed by Ra's al Ghul. Or, hey, maybe even do Ra's al Ghul, and do it even better. I don't know, like I said, there's just so many other characters that they could possibly do. Or even go with Ben Affleck's idea, get Deathstroke in there. Deathstroke would be boss. <laughs> um, sorry, it's turning to a rant about, uh, you know, who they could get other than the Joker to be, you know, the next big bad. Um, but the deleted scene itself, it's fine. It's a pretty good scene, but I understand why they cut it, and it really would overshadow Riddler. It would really be like, oh, wait, who's this? Let's find out, you know, more about this Joker, this universe's Joker. And let me tell you, this universe's Joker is really messed up. Like, he looks like he was dropped into a vat of chemical waste or, or acid you know he looks like yeah his hair's all patchy and everything and his skin's all it's like oh, it's a oh. uh <laughs> yeah uh so for those of you who haven't seen the deleted scene i'll link it in the description of uh you know this video uh let me know what you guys think uh, or what you think about this scene did you wish it was in the final product of the movie or did they make the right call in cutting it um let me know